Oh, yes! <laughs> to the far west, there's a lighthouse and a military tunnel, apparently. Neither of which I have gone to check out on the server yet. I have gone up uh, once before to, like, the rail yard and stuff. And came back down, looped around to this place. This is definitely my, my my main haunt as far as I'm concerned. Oh, and it seems that cage guy is having some trouble. Oh, but he's got Corinth with him, I think. I do think they are teamed up, which means that I need to be careful. There's uh, one other lone wolf on the server besides me, but I could easily call in some reinforcements, as stated before. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be necessary for, for a couple people with a hunting bow, though. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, floor spikes. I don't think anybody needs to learn that. That's like low tier shit. Yes. Indeed. I do kind of want to build uh, a trap. I would rather like to build a trap. Hmm. More blueprint fragments. I do like these blue barrels. Bone jacket. Landmine. More landmine shit. Meh. I threw it on the ground. I didn't give a shit. I already got these blueprints. What am I gonna do with these? Eat it? Turned it into C4? I wish it turned into C4. What the fuck? That would be the best. Convert blueprints to C4. Instead, no. You just get the little fragments. And then you make some pages. Then you make some books. Then you make some libraries. And it takes for fucking ever. But I'll admit, when you do get that blueprint done, you're just like, oh. Ooh. Like my uh, my scopes, I have laser sight. I have four times uh, zoom scope. I even make my own rifle and clothes and awesomeness. I can make like a whole rad suit, I think, which is pretty fucking cool. Even though I I don't gear for PvP, I think the bone armor and stuff is more uh, PvP gear, and the hoodie and stuff that I normally wear is just to keep you warm. <laughs> Which I don't think does anything either, besides keeping uh, too cold or too hot off the, the bottom right there. Which whoopee fucking do, am I right? I don't know. Maybe it does do something. C faster consumption of calories if you're cold or something. Faster loss of water if you're hot. That's probably what I'd do. That's probably similar to what they've done. If I had to guess, um, but it's also early access yet. Rust will probably see many more evolutions before it's actually something that they're like, yeah, we're good with this. <laughs> Which is kind of exciting, but it's also kind of like, uh, just finish, just finish. Give me something that I can sit down and be like, yes, I'm not wasting any time invested into this. Really, it's never a waste of time. Whenever they wipe your shit, it's... It's a bit cathartic, because everybody starts over at the same time, and you're just like, Yes! The battle! It's fucking ultimate Hunger Games. Long-term Hunger Games. Build a house and defend it Hunger Games. <laughs> Which I think is really fucking cool. Make your little outposts and live the bandit life, or fucking make a gigantic fucking warehouse that you hope nobody has enough C4 to get through. Which, uh... If somebody started in the correct spot on our base, they could definitely clear it out. I will admit that. It would probably take... Probably take... A lot of C4. Um... 30? 40? Which really isn't that much if you're playing on a large pop server where you have, like, multiple people farming for you. But as it is now, it's just like, uh... Yeah, C4 here, C4 there. I haven't got a large-scale operation going yet, but once all that uh, shit is cooked up in the furnace at home, I hope to I hope to make some 
massive gunpowder and explosives and wrap them all up as delicious C4. And I think the military base is just over this way. I might want to uh, keep my gun handy. Should I be farming all this shit? I guess I should. I guess it's only good, right? I hear something to the right. Could be just the wind. It sounded a bit like a fire to me. Which is interesting. I would much like to see somebody's house out here. Although I already ran that one C4 that I found all the way back home. Wee 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 wee. All the way home. <laughs> I keep heading uh, a bit more northwardly than I'd like. Which kinda sucks. Whoopsie doodle. And I like that the, uh, the pickup increase even works for stuff that comes off the ground. It even lets you level off the ground. Is the sun inside the water? What the fuck is happening right now? I need to not look at that anymore before I go blind. I don't want to be blind. Ah! And now we're almost to the, the edge of the map. I really do play it the same way. <laughs> High pop or low pop. You just can't be too careful. You know what I mean? You want that advantage. And uh, low pop basically means you just get more time before somebody reads you. <laughs> it's not that nobody's going to do it. You just have a little more time before it happens. Because not everybody's out there farming constantly. Which also means that when you go out farming, you get like a higher percentage of goodies. And I am a fan of goodies. Hmm. Thought I was seeing some people. It's just palm trees. Alright, we're alright. There are a lot of rocks out here. Which is really good. I could just uh, tap all of them and get high quality metal ore from each one. If I were in the mood to do so. Unfortunately, I am not. I don't care about um, that crap. Like, armoring up your base is important and all, but... Mm, we got time. I'm, I'm mostly banking on nobody being able to find it. Which, you know, is kind of cocky. It's not that well hidden. The map isn't that fucking gigantic. But, uh... If somebody wanders into it, I'll be extremely surprised. And also probably shoot them. <laughs> It's the right thing to do! Where are we now? Coming close. Lighthouse is out this way. Hmm. This will give me an excuse to turn on my headlamp as well. I did mention that they have craftable lamps. It is something that I'm able to craft with some uh, low-grade fuel and metal fragments and some other shit probably. But it's all run by low-grade fuel. The giant mining machines and all that shit. I really do like the focus that they have on fuel um, in Rust. It's realistic. It's fantastic. Made of plastic. There we go. Lights are on, boy. I just hope uh, nobody spots that shit. <laughs> Because it's really easy to see lights in the dark, obviously. You're just like, oh, there's a guy with a torch over there. There's a campfire over there. Etc, etc over there. Wow, I don't think anybody's been out this way. Because there are uh, rocks galore. Which means, hopefully, this, um, this tower will have a bunch of goodies in it. Really, just hunting for blueprint fragments, because that moment when you unveil uh, a blueprint book or library, as I tend to do, I, I find the lower level blueprints, so I try to save all the fragments for a book or a library. But that instant gratification's nice too. Sometimes you just make a page and you're like, fuck it, 
Oh, look, I learned hazmat boots. Wonderful. But really, you don't want that as much as, like, C4, right? Be honest with yourself. You want to save up that fucking... I, I, initially, I was saving for uh, stone gates, but... I would expect this place to have uh, a lot more shit inside. Oh. There is more shit inside. What do you know? Throw this leg armor on the floor. Oh my god. That's why nobody loots this shit. Because the stairs are... <laughs> absolute <laughs> garbage. We made a spiral staircase, but you have to jump your way up it. Um, hopefully I don't end up fucking falling out a window or some bullshit. Oh, come on, man. Why would you even implement this? Alright, gotta make sure these shits don't fall down. Stone barricade. Blueprint fragments. Fragments! These are my fragments! You cannot have them because they are mine. Alright, what is that? Floor spikes. Wonderful. I could take a fucking... <laughs> a swan dive, but... I don't think I want to. I got a lot of nice stuff. I ain't too keen on losing. Oh, you can go down the stairs. They didn't play test up the stairs, though. <laughs> That's the secret. Don't you see? Oh, there is so much to rest. I love this game. Alright, so... Really, there was nothing at all at the lighthouse. Which might mean somebody's living out here on the shore. It also might mean that, uh... The lighthouse just doesn't spawn that much. But there is a military tunnel, which I'm hoping is gonna have uh, a shit ton of goodies. Although, I do already have a bit of, uh... Of gear myself. Yeah, we're doing alright. I'm gonna eat some corn. Mmm, corn. I'm gonna plant these. Just save some inventory space. You know what I mean? Oh, somebody's out here hunting at night. Hunting at night. Uh, we need to go sharp north. Sharp north. Cannot go past this mountain ridge or I will miss the uh the turnoff tunnel. I'm going to the the military mountain tunnel. I don't think I've ever seen it. I went and visited the nuclear power plant and it was like way different. So there's like a constructed version and a really torn apart version. Which I think is fucking amazing. I wanna see Oh, it's the train yard that's way north. Yeah. This map has a lot of strange shit that I haven't seen before. But, uh... From what I hear, there's only five or six different uh, motifs like that. And they're just randomly spawned around the map in a different order. But I think that's far more interesting than... Ooh. Hey! He's not dead. He's still not dead. He's still not dead. Did he walk through that mountain? You better not walk through that mountain, boy. Oh, yes! 158 meters! <sighs> oh, that's a good time. <laughs> I definitely like the 5.56 five, ammo, because you can see it. Definitely an advantage. I probably won't even be able to find that boy. <laughs> he was way over the mountain. The pig went over the mountain. The pig went over the mountain. There he is. Fuck. He thought he was gonna get away. <laughs> Unfortunately, he ran in a straight line. <laughs> I might need to cook something eventually. Damn, I like that a lot. With the laser sight and the uh, the scope, yeah. It's some pretty sexy gunplay in this game. Although, I've not uh, participated that much with humans. With humans. 
So yeah, it cost me uh, 13 fuel to get through the night, basically. Which is pretty freaking good, in my opinion. Hopefully my uh, shooting scared anybody off that was over here. I did fucking <laughs> destroy that pig from 160 meters. It was 158. I'm calling it 160. Hello? Anybody out here? Wow, that's a good amount. Wonderful. Probably should get rid of uh, pork or cook pork or eat this. Yeah, eat that up. Need some inventory space, boy. Nom nom nom. Nom till all full. Oh. It's just a thing. I thought it was somebody's house. It's so disappointing. Now I hear two good things. Or one good thing and one bad thing. There is an airdrop coming. But that military patrol helicopter is also right over the mountain. So if that could uh, just be so kind as to put some shit down right here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it over there. Quite a run. Quite a run I would have to make. It is in a, a little valley. But I'm, I'm so scared of that fucking helicopter. I'm just gonna make a little campfire, have a little snacky poo, um, cook up some foodies. <laughs> we're gonna play it safe. That's how we're gonna do it. Just wait till that fucking thing goes away. Oh, I can't make a campfire? Can I? What an awful thing. I hate it. I hear it. It's terrible. Alright, I plant some seeds. Can I do that? Will they be irradiated and die out here? Doesn't matter. Just need some more inventory space. <laughs> okay, the helicopter seems to be heading towards the north end of the map. Which is the train yard. So, hopefully this actually is like a military tunnel. And I could go underground! Oh my god. Holy shit. I could have broke my legs. I could have died right fucking there. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I don't understand the reaction time there. I was just like, yeah, okay. You need to jump before you knew you need to jump. It's amazing. Wood chest plate. Empty can of beans. With a bunch of bullshit. Doesn't seem like there's too many people down here in the uh, the military tunnel. I'm gonna build a blueprint just in case that fucking well the helicopter will come back. The helicopter always comes back. It wants to search every fucking place. It just does it in a weird order. So if I can keep this on hand, I should be relatively safe. I'd like to find some more uh, crude oil, ideally. Wow, this is idyllic, speaking of. And there's some more goodies. I want some goodies. Give me your goodies. Oh, that's the best fucking... The best helmet there is. It offers no protection, but it's so goddamn stylish. Wow, maybe I didn't need to build anything at all. There's like a whole underground military tunnel. Oh, that's why they call it the military tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. I don't see much in here. Maybe I want to get my... My gun out. Oh, there is some shit. It's all enclosed. Wow. Okay. Well, that's, that's good for when the fucking military helicopter comes, I guess. 200 blueprint fragments. Yay! Oh, you're so generous. Yay! I'll throw the garbage on the floor. More garbage for the floor. 
Hmm. I can see myself getting very lost in here. How will I find my way out? Well, luckily you can't open doors. That would be fucked up. I already feel like a, a rat in the cage. Despite all my rage. I'm still just a rat in the cage. Do I go over this way now? Is it any different? No, it's the same. Can I go over here, please? Thanks. Ooh. Even more military tunnel action. Do 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 do. This is what our armed forces does, boys. They're so brave. Is there anything up there? Check the map. Check the map. Check the map. Check the map though. <clears throat> Helicopter is now over the rad town, so it's going to come in from that direction. I think we'll be okay. I do hear it. And it doesn't take much to get it fucking pissed off. <laughs> it looks like it's headed down towards the warehouses. But then it's definitely headed this way. So I need to be careful. Especially if it sees you. Which during the day it can see you from a fucking long way off. And it will wreck your shit. It'll just wreck your shit, bro. Maybe it's because I'm not too good at looking through these uh, military tunnels and such. But I feel like I didn't get that much loot. I don't hear it. Maybe that means I'm gonna hear it too late. It's still out there. It's still fucking out there. Um, I need to make some cover. Make some cover. Make some cover. It moves faster than me, please. We gotta make some cover. I'm growing concerned. <laughs> I made a box. <laughs> they'll never, they'll never figure it out. <laughs> oh, and now I just uh, sit in horror. Yeah, the helicopter's over the warehouse, but it's coming this way. That's fine. I'm gonna play it safe. <clears throat> I see it out there. Holy shit. You see it, bro? Don't breathe too loud. It's out there, dude. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> okay. I think it's gone. Break the cocoon! Of my suffering. God damn it. A terrible, terrible thing. Oh. Is that a bus stop? A bus stop or a house? I think it's a bus stop. That's not as exciting. I was hoping somebody lived out here. It's another thing about low pop servers. You definitely have to look. I do know of a couple places. I have visited such a couple. Um, shoot him in the head. Shoot him in the head. It'll do. It'll do! It's probably a waste of gunpowder, but, um, I have a good time with it. Oh, God. Am I always hearing things? I don't understand. Just running around like a madman with all this awesome loot. Fucking ton of blueprint fragments. How many do I have? Not quite enough to make a book. If I went back home, then I could make a book, but 
I'm not too keen on that idea either, especially since the fucking helicopter just passed. And I've never been down to this part of the map. I went to three new parts of the map today, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna find some goodies out here, I'll tell you what. There's a goodie. I tell you what. <laughs> a warehouse. Oh yeah, and so many boxes. I love the boxes because they have a chance to spawn like a hundred blueprint fragments. Which is fucking awesome! Hmm. I do like it. I like it a lot. Just drink a little water. That never hurt nobody. Throw it on the ground. Blueprint fragments? Yes. 50 of them. Mmm. And apple and chocolate. That is a healthy meal. I will tell you what. <laughs> I'll finish breaking this sword too. Boo! Reinforced window bars. Ooh, those are really awesome. I should take the reinforced window bars and, uh. Hmm. Oh, well, my. That's troubling. We'll have to clear some of this stone out by making external walls. Alright, now give me this fucking rocket. And is this uh, a blueprint? Yeah, it is. And I already know how to do it. <laughs> it might be thinking of the other server that, uh, that I play on from time to time. Much less than this one. My base is not as big there, but uh, when I feel comfortable on a high pop server, that is the point. I'll be like, here we go. Here we go. We're going to do it, bros. But as it stands, the, the gunplay is still a little wonky. For me, at least. I am not too, too skilled. That's all right. That's why we learn it. That's why we practice up just a little bit. You got to take that droppage into account when you're killing pigs from the back, drunk in a bar on a Sunday night. Pig comes up to you. She's like, "You want to fuck?" I'm like, "Not really, but I will." <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. It's gross. I wouldn't do it. I'd be like, "Sorry, man." I'd rather just go home and uh, play World of Warcraft, honestly. And she's like, I love World of Warcraft. And I'm like, yeah, but I like being alone. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't really want to, like, offend anybody tonight. I just wanted to come out here and drink. Just let me, just let me drink. Can you do that for me? Well, I guess that's fucking it as far as the warehouse is concerned. That's a little disappointing. It's one building. I came all the way out here, and there's one building. Shit. Well, shit. I could uh, start up this mining machine, but I know we have one back at the house. Back at the house. And uh, probably some of that crude oil is going to be cooked up as well, so... I suppose I'll head back. My inventory's full as fuck. I've got a... Uh, yeah. Ton of ore. Basically two stacks of metal ore. Or a stack and a half. But that'll do. That'll fucking do. Um, I could go directly east. But that's gonna take me through the ocean, which is not necessarily the way that I want to go. It's a very painful way to go. I don't enjoy swimming in this game. I think mostly because I don't understand it. It says I'm drowning. Am I really drowning? Oh, yep. I lost some health. Did you see it? Did you see it? There's no, like, countdown thing for the drowning, though. I don't understand. Just as soon as your head goes underwater, you're drowning. Is that a fact? You're not a very good swimmer, are you, boy? Nope. Not one bit, no, sir. Oh, there's a thing. I'm gonna kill it with a sword. I'll save me some fucking gunpowder. 
Hey, piggy. <laughs> Lay down. <laughs> you know how this one goes, don't you? If you don't, I told the joke like minutes ago. And you should probably consider stop smoking weed. If you want. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not your dad. I'm not your dad! That'll do. Kill that horse and far out. Then I gotta get worried about this fucking bear. This bear just running around having a fucking ball in the water. I'm a bear! Oh, he's so cute until he fucking decides to come over here. And then I'm gonna have to fucking blast him. I don't really want to because they do take a lot of ammo unless you're getting consistent headshots. Maybe I could do it from like way over here. I do have the high velocity ammo. And it would be a nice thing to do for all the, uh, the little people of the server. The little people. This is for you, little people. I missed. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it, I say. Don't poke the bear if you don't have to. That's just stupid. <laughs> That's just retardery. Why would you do that? Oh, so many sulfurs. I like it a lot. I don't necessarily want to stop and hit these rocks. Ain't my job. Oh, is that a thing up there? I think I do see a base up there, gentlemen. I don't have enough uh, gunpowder or anything to make explosives, but I should at least have a little look-see. There's a lot of rocks, so I don't think they've been on in some time. If it even is a base. It could have been just like the edge of some fucking, some rock. I don't know. Oh, it is. Oh, it's my fucking, my shit cocoon. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. I was so excited. Ooh, that's an exciting thing. Little snackies. A little bit of snackies. I think it's been uh, pretty productive. Relatively productive. I will probably sit down and do just a little work on the base as well, but um, it's not my forte. I mostly just add mining machines and oil refineries and things like that. Things that some people might appreciate. Hmm. Yeah, we don't really have much room for sulfur anymore. It's basically just going to be humping it back. Digging in trash for blueprint fragments. Which, uh, I don't really care for. Nope, nope. There's nothing out here. I picked up nothing. It's so sad. Oh. 100 blueprint fragments. Yes. I get so many. So many. 50 more. Ho, ho, ho. And the rest go on floor. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a house again. I was fooled for the second time in a row. <sighs> Fool me once, shame on you, house. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Shame on me. How could I have thought that was the same shit? Alright, well, luckily it's just like humping it back to base now. I got all my blueprint frog mounts that I could possibly want. I'll probably be able to make a library and uncover something awesome. Oh, won't it be wonderful? Get some more uh, sulfur ore cooking. Yeah, I guess I have enough wood. Enough wood! You know, it'd be funny though. What if we just stuck some of these in like bushes and stuff? I think they'd last for that long? <laughs> is it a waste? Or is it like a funny prank? Ow! Ow! It's not a funny prank! <laughs> it's always funny until someone loses an eye! There. Is that good? I think people like it. Hooray! 
dirty prank. Dirty prank, dirty prank, dirty prank for the day. You've nothing to say, dirty prank for the day. We're rhyming again. You can't stop it, but I did. <laughs> oh god. Hello friends, my name's Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. And I enjoy long walks on the beach with, by torchlight while carrying a, a high caliber rifle with a laser and scope attachment. Yes! <gasps> Did I get it? I want to get it so bad. Oh, yeah. Is it dead? It's not fucking dead. <laughs> there you go. 164 meters. Dang! Dang! Now I gotta swim across. And skin my kill. That's also something I enjoy. So if you enjoy murdering innocent animals, uh, send me a DM. That's what they call it on this site, right? not actually sure. It seems someone has uh, set up a small camp somewhat near the house. Hmm. Troubling. We'll need to watch out for that. At least it's not like a full construction or anything. And I don't think I left anything in the the base that we're gonna have to worry about necessarily. Could get a couple more frogmons. A couple more frogmons. I don't think anybody's gonna be out here to kill me and take them. Cause uh, I get a little twitchy when I got this many fragments on me. A little bit twitchy. Oh yeah. Am I still? Yeah, I guess I am. I had my, uh, my Helmont light on, which is not good. It's a waste of low-grade fuel there, although it doesn't waste too much, to be completely honest. But still, don't do it. Don't do it. Eat this. Eat that. Throw it on the ground. I hear flies buzzing around something. Which means something has died here, and not something that I shot because I generally will go after it. Water barrel and a fragment. We do have a, a space for water barrels in our bases, so I think I'm gonna drop mine drop mine in there. So I can get my fill of water whenever need be. Pony, look right here. Look right here. Good. 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 I'm telling you, more ammo than I need to use, but it's just fun. That's just some good, clean fun. And uh, it's much easier to get them at 40 meters than it is at 160, obviously, but. I like killing them at 160 as well, which uh, 164 is the max range. We're going to round that up, 165. <laughs> it's like a, a fish story. And then one day I forget and I'm like, it was 175, wasn't it? No, it was 200. It was 200 meters. I'm uh, basically a world-class sniper. <laughs> if you can shoot somebody at 200 meters, that's fucking amazing. Hats off to you. Um, I cannot. Probably 50, 60. That's about realistic for me as well. And I don't aim for the head. Always aim for fucking center mass. In this game I do because it saves a little ammo, but if you shoot somebody in the chest, like a person, they're, they're not going to keep coming for you. <laughs> it's basically over at that point. Um, so yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. 
in the Zombocalypse, just remember this little tip from your buddy Dayton does. And while they're trying to score headshots, uh, you can just nab them in the, in the arm or something. If you're bad at aiming for the chest. <laughs> oh yeah, we're back home. Look it, my giant base. It's so cool. <laughs> it is really, really nice. Ah, got a little water catcher out back. My fuel running. A little targeting range. I do like it a lot. And uh, I'll set my water barrel somewhere. Should I just shove it in there? What if I just shoved it in there? That'll be funny if I put a door on it. <laughs> It'll be like a big prank. Nice. And uh, we got a little more crude oil, so I'll get that cooking. Get that cooking good looking. I don't think I need that much in there. That'll probably do. And how we doing over here? Oh yeah. A little bit of something. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. So it seems I've got a, a relatively good amount of, of nice things. But we got uh, nice stacks. Stacks on stacks on stacks. I could make a lot of C4 right now if I were uh, so inclined. But I don't know if my team would be too happy about it. So I'll, I'll hold off for just a little bit. And I'll, I'll call it a day. I'll probably pick up later tonight um, and see what's been going on. But first, I want to upgrade a blueprints. Oh yeah, look at all this. All them pages. Oh yeah. Can almost make one more, but not quite. Collect five to create a blueprint book. I need one more blueprint piece. Hmm. I'll see if somebody can lend me one. I really want to make a blueprint library. Probably they have uh, stored them, as intelligent people would do. Yep. Well, I ain't patient enough for a blueprint library. I already know how to make explosives in C4, so I'm just going to uh, reveal what these books are. And we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Two-sided town signposts. Not great. <laughs> not happy about that. Large banner on a pole. Also not really great. <laughs> Finally, rocket. Yeah. That's okay. I need to know how to make a rocket launcher, but it'll do for now. We'll, uh make some timed explosive charges in the next episode i'll get on that and then uh we can go have some raiding fun hopefully well nobody's online um except maybe duality i might invite my buddies to come along because that's how you keep from getting people pissed off so <laughs> i've been brandon dayton friends your humble narrator this has been uh technically the second day of rust i do hope you've enjoyed this episode and if you have i hope that you will like comments and or subscribe and if you do friends I will send you some animal fat it's uh, probably gonna be a little congealed and or dehydrated when it gets to you but it's still good just pour some water on it <laughs> comes right back to normal mostly so I've been Brendan Dayton your humble narrator I hope to see you in the next one friends and until then bye bye one two three four goodbye goodbye see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.